Alfred Newkirk with Peter, reminding us that it's easy to be kind, perhaps by not using glue traps. Oh my gosh, I love this song. <laughs> you know, I was listening to Tom Petty on my way here today. Uh, and just thinking, you know, he was such a great guy. Rest in peace. I, and it's so great that you're playing a Diamond Gray, our producer and uh, production girl in there, production woman. Everyone, welcome back uh, to One Life Radio. This is Bernadette. Uh, I've got uh, Dr. Mike McFarlane in studio with me, Autumn Connolly as well. And I have Suzanne Vollers on the line. Uh, she was born in the Netherlands and has always loved traveling. In 2007, she moved to the U.S. and in 2008, she became the owner of the property that is now known as Mountain Horse Farm. Uh, she had a vision of a place where people can connect with nature, animals, and themselves, which is exactly what I did over the weekend, the holiday weekend. And I have to tell you, it was so enriching and so amazing uh, and I'm so thrilled to have Suzanne on the show today. So Mountain Horse Farm is all about wellness, relaxation and connection. To help with that they offer luxurious rooms or glamping, private hot tubs delicious meals, massages and inspirational animals. She is a, a certified with the Equine Assisted Growth and Learning Association. They have used their principles in their horse experience sessions. So cow cuddling was something that she learned about when she was visiting her family and fell in love with it right away. Uh, their two pet cows have been a wonderful addition to the farm. Mountain Horse Farm is a farm and horse sanctuary that all animals have found their forever homes with, uh, and they are passionate about letting them live uh, their life as natural as possible. I'm so thrilled to have Suzanne on the show. Welcome to One Life Radio. Thank you, Bernadette, for having me. I'm so excited to be to be with you. Well, you know, timing is everything, and you know, we on the show here we have like this serendipity, uh, uh, serendipitous. Uh, uh content, if you will, that I had no idea. I mean, I had knew you were coming up on the show, but I had no idea what I would have just experienced was exactly what you do. And I have to tell you, I was so enriched by what happened to me over the holiday weekend by doing exactly what it is you do. And so the power of animals is absolutely amazing. So many people, if they haven't exp experienced it yet, don't really know that it is so powerful. And so I thank you for joining us. Um, and I'm so intrigued by this topic. So please tell us, what is cow cuddling? So if you would book a cow cuddling session with us, um, what you're going to do is you're going to spend some time with our pet cows. And spending that time can, have, uh, can, can be all kinds of different things. You can do some brushing. It can be petting. You can just be sharing space. Uh, when they're laying down, you can be snuggling up with them or just sit with them. So all kinds of different things that you mm -hmm. could do. Our cows will be in their natural environment. So we are on a 33-acre beautiful farm with some gorgeous views. It's very quiet and peaceful. So you're going to be outside with them in their fields. Um, and they, this is not like a trick or a trained skill or anything like that. What it is is that we let them behave naturally, and you're just going to interact with them. And so that's why every session is a little bit different mm -hmm. um, because it's an interaction between you and the animal, and very beautiful things can happen in that interaction. Um, so um, the, 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 the most beautiful part will be if they will be laying down because then you will have the opportunity to sit with them and really feel um, that relaxation, feel their higher body. They have a higher body temperature than us. Mm -hmm. And just feeling that is very relaxing. I think a lot of people have heard maybe about dog and horse uh, therapy, so where you would interact with a dog and a horse. Interacting with a cow is similar to that, but because a cow is a little bit of a different animal, it brings very unique qualities to that interaction as well. Well, you'll, you'll laugh on my way uh, through the river, acro across the river and through the woods to the wilderness that I went to. There was a restaurant called Cow Talk. Oh, really? <laughs> Cow Talk Steakhouse. I was thinking, oh, yeah, I can only imagine the, the talk that the cows had before they, they get, uh, you know. <laughs> Well, I, I think a lot of people actually don't know this, but if you let cows live like a, natu a more natural life, they actually form really strong uh, friendships and bonds amongst each other, cows that like each other, groom each other as well. Um, so they, there is, they, they do have a whole social interaction and a social, um, uh, the way they, they, they talk to each other and the way they interact with each other. 
So, yes, I'm pretty sure they have a lot of things to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, well, you know, as a kid growing up, we used to go down to our uh, to our our family um, uh summer camp uh, that we mm -hmm. shared with our cousins and it was in Cape Vincent, New York. And there was always lots of, you know, there's lots of cows in upstate New York. And so mm -hmm. along the way, we would always convince my dad to stop on the side of the road and let us, uh, you know, at least talk to the cows. Or I was always fascinated with the cows or the big animals and wanted to get to know them better. And I do think that it's almost like a natural instinct in us to want to connect with nature, to want to connect to these beautiful uh, animals, if you will. I want almost said farm animals, but they aren't necessarily farm animals. I mean, horses run in the wild, but, you know, this, this past weekend, I had that same feeling that I had when I was a kid when I would, you know, get close to a cow, even though there was a fence between us, to just mm -hmm. to touch a big animal like that, it ha it's so comforting. It's just, it's, it's absolutely that, just yeah. makes you feel wonderful. And I think a lot of people miss that in their lives. Everything is so digital now, and everything is, is like we feel like we're in, a lot of in front of screens, right, where we're like divided and we're like in front of screens and we're not experiencing the real thing anymore, right? Yeah. I mean, it's wonderful to look at cow pictures or animal pictures on your phone, but it's even much, much better to actually interact with them in real life and to be in a place where it's quiet, where you can naturally process your thoughts and feelings because we kind of need that kind of focus and that quiet kind of uh, stillness in our lives yeah. to, to, to get real relaxation and to uh, maybe reduce anxiety, things like that. Um, so, yes, and interacting with a bigger animal, I mean, it's wonderful to interact with a, with a uh, cat or a dog, but interacting with a bigger animal actually commands your attention a little bit more because they mm -hmm. are big. So you kind of, you, you kind of right there. I mean, the mindfulness is right there. Um, so that, that makes a big difference as well. And then with the cows, they're so relaxed. I mean, part of their natural being is laying down to process their food. And when they're, once they're in that stage, that, then they're, like, really relaxed. And just feeling that relaxation from that animal makes you more relaxed as well. Mm -hmm. It kind of it sucks you in and it gives you that feeling yeah. you know, back, back to you as well. So that is what kind of makes it really interesting. It, it, I, 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 yes, yes. I had, like, a gravitational pull almost, if you will, yeah. um, because we had no Internet. We had, we had nothing. We had no communication with the outside world until we got off. We had to drive down the road to get off the property, which we didn't do until we actually left. Mm -hmm. But it was astounding. I found myself wanting to. I kept. I mean, I went over to the horses like two or three times a day to just go over and talk with them. And there was donkeys and there was goats and there was the big pig, Clara. But I, I, I just can't get over, that's, you know, even how well I slept that night because I was so at peace. Yeah, that's exactly what happens here. People naturally gravitate towards the animals. They just. I mean, it's not about writing or anything like that. It's just about being with them, seeing them, looking at them, you know, petting them, just, just all that kind of good stuff. That is really what happens here as well. Everybody that comes stay with us, if they, if they love horses or cows or not before they get here, they naturally gravitate towards them because they want to have that connection with, yeah. with them. Yeah. Well, so, so what, is, how, what are some of the benefits, uh, you know, for health and wellness to a cow cuddling or just getting back in touch with nature and especially, you know, like uh, socializing, if you will, with these beautiful creatures? So, I mean, spending time in nature, that's beneficial in itself. There's a lot of studies that show that being in nature um, with trees, with like um, beautiful landscaping, with like beautiful uh, views, with quietness. Uh, makes you feel more connected to yourself, makes you feel more um, relaxed, and it also helps you to naturally process your thoughts and feelings. And we need that quiet time for that. Mm -hmm. You cannot do that when you're watching TV, listening to music, doing things like that. You need yeah. quiet time. So that in itself is a big benefit. And then if you add to that horses and cows, that makes it even better because you interact with those animals, and you can you see their relaxation. Mm -hmm. You feel um, the way they interact with each other, and that even makes it makes it better. Especially for the cows, um, we find that they are doing um, uh, th their benefits are really with relaxation, with uh, uh, reducing anxiety. Um, they're wonderful if you're going to grief. Um, you can sit with them. You can talk to them. Nobody's judging them. Um, you can, even if you want to sit and cry with them, you know, mm -hmm. that, all those things work really well with that. Um, 
And then uh, what I said before, the mindfulness, that's mm-hmm. a really big benefit as well. Being right there, being I feel focused. I- yeah, I feel absolutely rejuvenated after just spending 30 hours, you know, with yeah. with no outside world and just yeah. myself, nature, and the animals, and, of course, yeah. my family that I love so much. But yeah. let me ask you this. How can people learn more about your farm? They can go. Uh, the best way is to go to our website. Um, everything that we offer um, is on our website. Um, that's mountainhorsefarm.com. And um, there's also... A Facebook page and an Instagram page, and our two pet cows, Belly and Bonnie, they even have their own uh, Facebook page because a lot of people want to keep, you know, keep up with their daily adventures. Uh-huh. Um, so that's the best way. People can also call me, or they can send us emails, and all that information is on the website as okay. well. What state are you in? Are you in Texas? Um, no, we are in New York. Um, ah. So we are upstate New York. And actually, we're in the beautiful Finger Lakes. People may have heard about that. Oh, my that. gosh. That's... It's, it's a big wine country. So, uh, yeah. And a lot of waterfalls, uh, a lot of lakes. It's a very pretty area. Well, I grew uh, up in upstate New York. You so. did. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So, yeah, uh, so you must know where the Finger Lakes are. Then, absolutely. Right? Yes, yes. So yes. that's where we are, in the middle of that. And uh, we got our first snow. So <laughs> That happened. Uh, I don't miss the snow. No, I can imagine that. <laughs> well, a little bit is okay, but the month yeah. that I left New York, we got 108 inches of snow in 30 days. I know. It's like, that's, that, that's what happens. That's why, we, by the way, that's why we offer these sessions with the animals from May to October. To October. Okay. Just because in winter it's a little bit too cold um, to uh, yeah. do these things. Obviously. Well, maybe we'll get to meet one day. I need to go back up there and visit my family. I haven't yeah, been up there in a while. so. <laughs> Suzanne, thank you so much. What a pleasure. Thank you. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Everyone, uh, stay tuned. We've got more coming up with Dr. Mike McFarland. We're going to be talking about managing holiday stress and Autumn Connolly, how to connect to your higher self. You're listening to One Life Radio. Wellbeing Journal is a remarkable bi-monthly health publication esteemed by intelligent readers worldwide. It's available in print or digital, single issues or subscription. Its focus is on living a happy, healthy life and preventing or healing illnesses naturally. Preventing or healing cancer, arthritis, cardiovascular conditions, and digestive issues, as well as nutritional solutions for optimal health are regular subjects. Learn more at wellbeingjournal.com. Hi, this is Vaughn Eaglin. As a licensed professional counselor and supervisor, I spend my career helping people cope with emotional problems. But today, I want to talk to you about nutrition. People ask me all the time for nutrition and weight loss advice, and I always find myself recommending a raw vegan protein, a food supplement called Warrior Blend by Sun Warrior. I wasn't always active and fit. In fact, I was very overweight as a child. And as a counselor, I must emphasize the importance of the mind-body connection. A clean body helps with a clean mind. Start today with Sun Warrior Blend Raw Vegan Protein. For more information, go to sunwarrior.com and start living clean today. Hi, everyone. It's Bernadette. Everyone knows that I'm a strong believer in the numerous health benefits of cannabinoids and CBD oils. As with any supplement, I always do my research and my homework to find the highest quality product on the market. That's why I'm so happy to announce our partnership with the H Hemp Company, founded by a group of the most experienced and respected names in the CBD community. H Hemp offers a line of innovative products that are all natural and tested for quality. Choose from flavorful oils, restorative body balm, and minty breast spray, all at affordable prices. And for every H Hemp product sold, the company makes a donation towards the fight against opioid and anti-anxiety drug addiction, an epidemic affecting millions of families across the nation today. H Hemp products produce a sense of calm, fight post-workout inflammation, and the company gives back to our community. What more could we ask for? Search online for H Hemp Company and use the code OLR for 20% off your first order. That's OLR for 20% off your first order. Hi, I'm Bob Barker. This is my friend Benny. Before you buy cosmetics, personal care, or household products, you be sure they have not been tested on animals. Everything from floor cleaner to shampoo is poured into animals' eyes and down their throats. They suffer intensely. Some even go blind. The price is never right for products tested on animals. Visit PETA.org for a list of cruelty-free companies. 
Whoever said you can't.